You are watching a master at work. An insanely overpowered unlimited money glitch that you can still take advantage of right now on Starfield after all the most recent patches. Consider subscribing if you'd like to help my channel grow. Drop a big fat like on the video and let me know you did in the comments below. Let's get right on into it. We're going to be taking advantage of the ship duplication glitch and if you haven't seen it already I've made a previous video on it but I am going to be showing you how to do the glitch here and then a certain route we're going to take to actually sell these ships that's going to maximize the amount you're going to be able to make hourly using this glitch. We'll then reset the vendors and do it all over again so let's get into it. Now we're going to take one of the ships inside of your ship slots that you don't mind messing with and we're going to build it up to be very valuable and right next to it according to the ship slots you're going to need a ship that you don't mind overriding. For me personally I'm going to be using ship slots 9 of 10 and ship slots 10 of 10. Now I'm going to take this bare bones ship and I'm going to slightly modify it so it has a bigger reactor and a bigger grav drive. We're also going to be adding landing gears but that's going to be a little bit later on. I strongly recommend that you build your ship in Aquila City as it's going to give you access to better landing gear. That's going to be in the Cheyenne Solar System, Planet Aquila, and then Aquila City. Once you've landed you'll find the shipyard director just straight out in front of you. Now what we're going to do here is go inside of the ship builder and we're going to add as many 900T Helium 3 tanks as we possibly can. These are fuel tanks. And if you're like me and you're not high enough rank to actually have one of these or purchase them no worries I'm gonna show you exactly how to get them basically you're gonna highlight as close as you can nearby the ship and you're gonna hit a to add and if you are at a correct height and you're nearby the ship close enough when you select the part it's gonna be intersecting this is exactly what we want now we're gonna highlight a part that we do have access to for me this is gonna be the smaller 550 tanks and again it must be intersecting with the ship so it's glowing red and then tap the button to place it and it's gonna semi place it after you've done that you can then move over off the ship and tap down or up d-pad to select the actual tank that you want for us in this case was the 900T so I'm going to tap down a couple of times till I get to that part and then I'm going to place it down. Now that we've placed it down we have access to it and we can attach it to our ship. Now unfortunately this makes it a little bit more of a tedious process to place these parts but it can be done as I've done it myself. So from here we're just going to glitch out the 900Ts and we're going to place them side by side all the way around the ship. I recommend doing the back and sides of the ship don't go no further than the front end of the actual ship itself. At some point because of the weight distribution you're going to start to get errors letting you know that you need to add more landing gears and we're going to do just that. One of the reasons we came to Aquila City is because we have access to the Aculander 11 landing gear and if you guys wanted to build in layers you can select the h50 tank and you can place it on the top portion of your existing tanks and then connect another tank just on top of that and by going in layers it's going to make it so you don't need so many landing gears but once we have our ship fully built you can back out of it and accept it to accept those changes at this point we need to check the value of the ship and make sure that we've got roughly 150 to 160 thousand dollars worth of value you can do this by going back into the ship builder double tapping the select button which is going to highlight everything and then single-handedly unselect all the ship parts that we don't want to delete after you've done that you can move the cursor off of the ship parts you can then tap the button to delete the parts and then it's going to give you a value up in the upper right hand corner of the screen as you can see here 160,000 plus credits now the reason we want to stay in this range and not go any further is because some of the vendors cap out at 160,000 credits so we're not going to be able to make much more off of them be sure to back out of it and cancel the modification as we don't want to actually sell the parts we were just checking for the price value now that we have our valuable ship built what we're going to do is show you how to duplicate that ship and this is extremely easy to do from the main selection menu, if I cycle over to the ship that's right beside it, I have a cargo ship, which I don't mind overriding. You're going to go back and highlight the ship that we're duplicating. You're then going to tap the button to cycle through the ships, and you're going to tap the ship builder button at the same exact time. Make sure that you're tapping the buttons quickly and releasing them, not holding on to the button. You're going to notice a very loud sound effect when you do this, and that's going to indicate that you hit the glitch correctly, and all we have to do is change one item on the ship, and then back out of it and save it. And if you hit the glitch correctly, you'll see that you now have two of the same exact ships. Ship, and this is exactly what we need now while we're still at the same ship builder where I've spent roughly a million credits actually building my ship what I'm gonna do now is duplicate the ships sell those extra parts and get all my money back this is also gonna give you a lot of practice in duplicating the ships and selling the ship parts as well to make this process even faster after you've gotten all your money back from this vendor we're gonna move on to another vendor now we're basically going to run through a list of vendors and we're going to go ahead and duplicate and sell the ship parts to each vendor. Again, thanks to Kibbles Gaming for this route, let's go ahead and run it. To start off with, go into your star map, highlight Narion, and we're going to go into the subsystem of Valo. Highlight the planet Polvo and you're going to go into Hope Town. Once you've landed, you're going to go up to the ship vendor here. You'll talk to him. He has roughly 70,000 credits. You're now going to go over to your duplicated ship. You'll go into it. 
select the parts, deselect all the parts that you don't want to sell, sell those parts, you're then going to take all of its credits, and then reduplicate your ship while you're right here. After you've duped the ship, sold the parts, and you've reduped your ship and we're ready to go again, you're going to go into the nearby building of Hope Tech. Once inside of Hope Tech, you'll move straight ahead and then you're going to see the ship vendor off to the right hand side. You'll talk to this lady and we're going to do the same exact thing. We'll go to the duplicated ship, we'll select it, deselect any parts that you don't want to sell, We'll then highlight off of the ship, choose the option to sell, to sell all the parts, we'll collect the cash, back out of it, and then reduplicate our ship over again over on top of this one. Hopefully I'm not simplifying it too much and you're able to keep up. After you've sold to that vendor and reduplicated your ship, we're going to go back into your star map and we're going to go on over to Vol 2. You're going to land on Vol 2 Alpha and then we're going to make our way on over to Neon Core. Once you spawn in, turn to your right and go all the way to the end of the hallway. Go inside of the elevator and choose the option for the Tayo Astroneering Floor. Once you're on this floor, you're going to go forward and to the right and then to the right and down this stairwell. You'll find this lady here. Same as the other vendors, we're going to select our ship. We'll go in, we'll select all the parts that we want to sell, delete the parts to acquire the cash, reduplicate our ship and then move on out of this vendor and lastly to complete the loop if you'd like to do so you can go to the Alpha Centauri go to Jameson land at New Atlantis and talk to the Jameson ship vendor right there again same process select the items on the ship that you would like to sell choose the option to delete them and reduplicate your ship I strongly recommend before going on from vendor to vendor that you create a quick save just in case we get a crash of our game and now to resupply all the vendors so we can repeat the whole process all over again go into the star map go to the soul solar system go to the planet Venus and land anywhere on it once you have, go back inside of your ship, go up to the chair, choose the option to sit down, choose the option to wait, and you're going to wait six full hours. After you've done this, all of those ship vendors that we went to are now going to be replenished with credits. You can now repeat the process and go through that cycle all over again and do this unlimitedly as many times as you would like. You can get upwards of 5 to $7 million every hour by doing this, so take advantage of it while you can. I greatly appreciate you all for tuning in, and I appreciate all the continued support. Consider subscribing if you'd like to help the channel grow. Drop a big fat like on the video, and let me know you did in the comments below. It's your boy Jay Stone and I'm gone. Subscribe on Daddy's channel.